Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Virgo, my beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo, this is all about how your person is currently feeling about you. Um, so if that's what you're interested in, then please keep on watching. So we're going to look at how they're coming across, their deeper feelings, what they sort of want the next steps to be. Um, and of course, if you enjoy the reading, if it resonates at all, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos in future as well. But let's get into it here. Okay. And we have the Queen of uh, Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Really, really interesting spread, <laughs> Virgo. Um, what I will start with is this amazing ace of wands that jumped right out and is the first card in the spread. Ace of wands. There is, I guess it would be an understatement to say that there's a really, really strong physical attraction here. There's a strong chemistry and there's a strong sense of getting something uh, started that is very, very new. Um, this even has a sense to me that it's not only the start of a new, you know, exciting romantic connection with a lot of passion, it's also a lot of ideas, a lot of excitement for what the future can bring. Maybe even how you two can work together on things, maybe even like talking about things like business ideas or, you know, entrepreneurial ideas, that kind of thing. There's this real sense of creativity, of passion, of excitement for the future. And it is all really, really brand new. And it has come in very quickly as well, I feel. There's a, there's a quick nature to this. It's like it all happened very quickly. Feelings have been brewing and coming up very, very quickly. Um... Yeah, it's, it's just super, super exciting and there's a lot to kind of look forward to. Um, that's really how your person is feeling when they see you. I think there's when like the two of you kind of talk to each other, you can sort of bring out the um, excitement from the other person in terms of the future. So it's like you have this on your own, but then together um, it, it just enhances or amplifies that excitement for the for the future if that makes sense there could also be um yeah just a lot of fun being had a lot of fun you know going out having a good time um there's there's that sense of of real uh, fun at the moment light-hearted fun too we've got the page of swords here we also have the Seven of Swords, which I'll get to in a moment. But we've got the Page of Swords. It's possible you're dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but that's kind of the strong energy that's coming through. We do also have a couple pages here, right? Now, when I see a page, I do think of someone younger. I do think of someone, um, if they're not younger in years or in terms of age, that they're a little bit less mature in some ways, maybe not as experienced in relationships. Uh, but generally, a page is someone that is younger than you or less experienced than you or perhaps less mature than you, potentially. Um, this person is doing a lot of um, stuff online. It's like they're they're very big in the online space, online world. That could just be even like spending a lot of time on social media. They could even be trying to work um, through social media. That could, that could be what their job involves. Um, they could be trying to create new um, businesses and things online. They're really into that kind of online world, that online space. And you're seeing that they're just doing a lot of research, a lot of learning. They're exploring a lot of different ideas. I think that's why at the moment um, this is kind of exciting or this connection feels very exciting because you're bringing a lot of passion and energy and optimism. And they're also bringing a lot of ideas. 
And so the combination of the two is making you both feel, you know, very excited for the future, if that makes sense. Um, so that's very interesting. What I would say here, though, is when we look, you know, in the center of this reading, we do have the Seven of Swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is feeling um, a little selfish to me. I'm not going to lie. This person is um, used to thinking about themselves. They're accustomed to just taking what they want out of a situation, enjoying themselves, and not necessarily thinking too much about the consequences or about other people. Okay, I have to I have to put that out there. This could just be an age thing or a maturity level thing. They haven't ever, I feel, haven't ever had to really work collaboratively collaboratively with someone before they haven't had to do a lot of give and take they haven't had to do a lot of compromise um, when it comes to relationships so they're still very much thinking in terms of me 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 um, is that something that could change potentially potentially and I'll, I'll tell you why in a moment but I have to call it how I see it that's the reality this person is really thinking about themselves um, that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy yourself on the ride with this person, but just be aware that they are thinking, what is in this for me? <laughs> what's in it for me? If everyone benefits, great, but what's in it for me? That's the, that's the primary um, thing I'm seeing here, okay? It's not necessarily a deception or a lie um, that they have, you know, told you or that they've tried to betray you or deceive you because sometimes it you know can have that feeling the seven of swords it's more that you know it's not necessarily something they're going to outwardly say like I'm just thinking about myself um you know they're not they're not stupid they're not going to say that um so it, it's it's more that feeling that I that I get from this rather than they've actually lied to you about something but I would say just be careful here because there's so much excitement that, that that can come from this, so much optimism that you are maybe wearing rose-colored glasses and you're not seeing um, something about this person's values that may be different to your values long-term. And again, that's not saying that things can't change, but at the moment, you've actually got different ideas about the future. Four of Cups energy. This is really fascinating because this is actually coming up in a position in this spread um, that would be kind of like a, a, a positive or not necessarily a negative. Now, with Four of Cups, we see this image of kind of rejection of an offer. We see this image of someone who is, you know, a little bit maybe unfeeling, maybe a little bit mildly... I don't want to say depressed, but almost like just not appreciating anything, not appreciating the offers that are coming in. What I would say, actually, is that you two are quite um, enthralled by each other. They like that fact. They see that um, you're someone who could be seeing other people, who could be, you know, having attention or offers coming in from other people, or other sources. But you're choosing to ignore that in favor of this person and in favor of the connection that you have. So this person is very aware that you could be doing something else, you could be talking to other people, but you're not because there's so much excitement that's going on here. So they like that. There could even be a rejection in terms of maybe there was a bit of competition at one point between them and someone else, competition for, for you. And you made a choice and you chose this person. So again, that's something that, that they're feeling good about, that they're feeling happy about. Now, we have a beautiful card, which is normally beautiful to get to, to get in these kinds of readings, which is the Ten of Cups. And this is like an ultimate vision of what your future happiness and fulfillment is like, right? But in this case, I would say you, again, may have a slightly different vision of the future than what this person has, which is interesting because there is a lot of talk about the future going on. There's a lot of talk about possibilities, the, the future possibilities of this, of what you can achieve on your own and in this connection. But somehow 
there's a little bit of a of disconnect here. It could just be that this is very far away as well, right? We've got an ace. This is where we're at at the moment. We're right at the beginning. A 10 is right at the end after we've been through a lot together and we achieve this, this goal of being emotionally satisfied and content and happy. So we're not really there yet. Um, it's, it's far away. Perhaps you want to get there a little bit quicker than this person does, okay? Again, it, it kind of ties in with the fact that they're either a little bit younger or if they're not physically younger, they're a little bit less mature, less ready to get to this. So you could be on slightly different timelines here in terms of what you want. Next steps, we've got the uh, page, page of pentacles again, another page. <laughs> this is um, potentially studying something new. Your person might be interested in actually um, having a bit of a career change or they might be thinking about doing something else in terms of their finances, their money, their career. And so that could be taking up a lot of their time. But I will say that um, there is an offer here as well. It's a small offer, but it's an offer, right? This is like, you know, okay, do you want to like come and, you know, go on this weekend trip together or, or whatever the case may be? Um, it's, it's, a, it's an offer, but it's, it's small. It's not a really huge like long-term commitment. Again, makes sense. This is feeling, the energy of this is feeling so new. Um, but again, it may just not be on the, kind of timeline you want this person's gonna have to take it like one step at a time all right um i think that in general you've been through a lot more than this person has with their past relation with past relationships um they're just a little bit more naive a little bit less experienced and so they kind of you sometimes feel like they're not doing enough to satisfy you to satisfy the connection um, but for them, it's, it's really new territory. Okay. I will say that. So you may need to just cut this person a little bit of slack, um, or take your time. Ultimately that decision is yours, of course. Uh, but that's just, that's what's going on with them. I'm going to leave it there. Virgo. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope that you can all join for the next reading. Thanks.